Welcome to Public House, intimate conversations with people making a difference in the Hudson Valley. And now from Paula's Public House in Poughkeepsie, here's Paula Young. Hi, I'm Paula Young and welcome to Public House. Today I am very pleased to meet Nicole Fenichel Hewitt from the SPARK program and from Mill Street Loft. Thanks so much for having me, Paula. It's a very exciting time for us as Spark and Mill Street Loft because the two organizations are merging. Okay, so tell me what that is. What is a Spark? What is a Mill Street Project? Tell me everything. Okay, so Spark Media Project and Mill Street Loft both provide young people focused on the city of Poughkeepsie, but really regionally, with opportunities to engage with arts. Spark Media Project's focus has always been the media arts, filmmaking, animation, um, digital art, and Mill Street Loft has focused on visual arts and performing arts, painting, sculpture. Um, so really bringing these two agencies together is very exciting because we're both strengthening the organizations by combining the strength of the administrative. Okay, so that's the umbrella. Yeah. So tell me what, about what goes on underneath the umbrella. Tell me about, I'm an eight-year-old kid. I live in Poughkeepsie or outside in the Hudson Valley. What will you do for me? What will you teach me? What will you show me? Okay, so really in any number of those artistic disciplines, the children and young adults that come to our space, and I'm talking about both spaces, although we'll be under one space right. soon, um, they get to explore their own creativity. So it's really a student-led process where they can conceive of what they want to do. Um, so there's a pre-production part where their imagination is going and they're getting to solidify concepts in the filmmaking it's script writing, in the art programs it's drafting, right. and then they get into the process and they're led by professional artists to actually produce their work. So they're mentored by people who come in and volunteer. Exactly. So how do children find out about you? Does it come through their school, through their teachers? How do they find out? So we do both in-school programs, so sometimes we're actually in the classroom doing residencies, which is a really wonderful experience for the kids to get to explore really any topic using media or art as the tool. Right. Um, and then we also do after school programs and summer camps. So we do network with the schools. We have um, a great body of, of students and parents that work with us, so there's a lot of word of mouth. Um, but people can come to either website and learn more about us. And I read there's about 9,000 children that are being helped at this point or encouraged or touched. Yeah. Tell me, is that yeah. right? Yeah, combined. There's so many programs going on. Between those in-school residencies, we sometimes do assemblies. We have huge events like Real Expressions Youth Film Festival, oh, which attracts hundreds of students to the Bardavon to watch films that are produced by students around the world. Um, so when you combine all of these, these avenues for engagement, um, we're, we're hitting a lot of lives. That's exciting. Now tell me about funding. How do you promote and pay for these things? It's a multifaceted approach. <laughs> um, we definitely rely a lot on individuals. We've been fortunate in both agencies to have a lot of community support. So there's individual donors, but certainly not enough to cover. So if I want to send you a check, or if I want to come in and be part of, or if I want to teach, who do I contact? Um, you can contact me. <laughs> um, we also do have development staff, but anyone can reach me at my at Spark or Mill Street because right now I'm going back and forth. Do you have a website? Um, Real quick. Yes. So it's SparkMediaProject.org or MillStreetLoft.org. Okay. One last question. What makes your heart beat? What moves you? What inspires you? I think it's seeing young people create this spark of energy that challenges themselves to move forward in unique and different ways in life. So you give them a voice for their art. Exactly. You give them legs for they can walk. That's right. And it's, it's the connections and the skills that they learn that they carry through no matter what they're doing that they'll always look back and, and remember that, that special time that they, they worked with us. So you brought them to the threshold and helped them go through the door. That's brilliant. Thank you so much for coming in. It was great to meet you, and I hope that you can continue to do more and more and more, and that we can be part of it together. Thanks so much. We'd love to do some productions here. You never know. Yeah, that'd be fun. Thank you very much, Nicole. And thanks to all of you for tuning in again to Public House. We'll see you the next time. Thank you. Nicole. Hi, I'm Paula Young, and I'm the proprietor here of Paula's Public House. 
Do join me any day of the week except for Sunday for good food, good cheer, and good fellowship. We are here, we have fun, and we'd love to have you be a part of it. Come on down.